Now here's a game that needs no introduction to the old school gamers. If you're not familiar with the concept of Bubble Bobble, here's the general idea. You're just going from screen to screen, killing off all the enemies that you encounter. Sounds pretty simplistic, right? Well, it is, sort of. But it's one of those one-hit-and-you-die kind of games. There are about over a hundred levels to go through. Yes, that's right. Over a hundred levels. How do you advance to the next level? Why, by killing off all the enemies on the screen. How do you do that? Why, by trapping them in a bubble and then popping it. There are only two things you can do as these characters. You can jump and spit out bubbles to trap your enemies and then pop them. And for a more advanced technique, you can jump on top of the bubbles in order to reach higher places. However, you only have a certain amount of time in order to kill off all the enemies before a white ghost-like creature comes out and tries to kill you. The enemies are pretty simplistic, but they will also become more challenging later on. And when you get down to just one more enemy on the screen, they go really fast, and they can be pretty hard to kill. The best part about Bubble Bobble? It's co-op. So you don't have to do this all by yourself. You can do this with a friend. In fact, it's a good idea to do it with a friend because this could take a long time if you're trying to actually beat the game in one sitting. Good luck with that. Good thing there's a password system. You'll be able to get power-ups to help you on your journey, such as using these lightning bolts and fire. There's even more depth to this game than you might realize, such as the fact that there are some secret levels, which is actually what you've been watching this whole time. And what most players don't know is that there is actually a boss at the end of the game. Yes, there's a boss. And something else? There's two endings. There's a good and a bad ending. If you want the good ending, you gotta beat it with two players. Some of these stages can be rather difficult, and you'll need any kind of power-up that can help you. And I mean any kind. You just gotta get something, because some of these levels are nearly impossible with just one person. You'll know what I'm talking about if you get to a certain level. Overall, it's simplistic and it has its challenging moments, but its best part is co-op. It's not one of those games that keeps you hooked in, but it's one of those pick-up-and-play games that you play from time to time. And the main theme of the game is pretty catchy which is good because you'll be hearing it throughout every level except the final level. Bubble Bubble gets a 4 out of 5. A couple of flaws, but overall a good game.